Hello and a very warm welcome. In today's video, we're going to talk about Michael Massey and radio communications. Now, I need to address something before we start. I did a Michael Massey, he should resign. And I did that video after Saudi Arabia. People are coming to that video thinking that I did that after Abu Dhabi. It, it's getting loads of views because everyone knows Massey should resign or be sacked. Um, yeah, so I did that video before Saudi. No, after Saudi, before Abu Dhabi. But people think I'm being salty that I did it after Abu Dhabi. Well, that's not the case. And if people actually look at my race reaction, I congratulate Max. So let's talk radio communication from the team principals to the race director. Now, if you have a strong race director, the team principals would not bully the race director. Time and time again, if it's Jonathan Wheatley, if it's um, Ron Meadows, Christian Horner or Toto Wolf. They come on the radio and they bully Michael Massey because they know they can get away with it. If we had a strong race director, they would not do that. Um, yeah. Prime examples this year, um, Silverstone. Michael, you do not overtake into the cops. Lewis was far enough alongside. Uh, he's just so far out of his depth. He is basically swimming in the deep end with no armbands. He's not good at his job and he should resign or be sacked. There's no way he can go into 2022 as the race director and we have a rinse repeat of 2021. And if he was to stay in his role, he definitely needs a number two alongside him. Yeah, Abu Dhabi was clear to see that the team principals basically were in charge. The race director should control the paddock, the everything, and Massey doesn't have control. He should control the drivers, the safety, um, the team principals. If you had a strong race director, the team principals would know not, look, we can't be negotiating. We can't be angry. I mean, we saw with, with Christian Horner in Abu Dhabi, um, why are we not getting these lap cars out of the way? Just, Christian, just give me a minute. We'll get that sorted for you. And then lap cars can overtake. No, Michael, no, this is not fair. No, Michael. Toto, we're going motor racing. Sorry? We're going car racing, Toto. No, no, Michael, you need to reinvert the positions. So, yeah, Michael Massey is out of his depth. I mean, if you're a postman and you deliver to the wrong house everyone's letters, you're going to be sacked. Um, Michael Massey is not good enough for this role. It's, it's mates race. It's jobs for the boys. He's shown time and time again this year he's out of his depth. I'll give you Spa, for example. This is a race director who is meant to have 20 drivers safety at the top of his list he sent the drivers out in worse conditions to get a result so they didn't have to refund the fans there you go time and time again we've seen it the inconsistency of the penalties Lando Norris pushes Perez wide he gets a penalty Max does it to Lewis no penalty unbelievable Saudi Arabia Max cuts turn one has to give the place back a five-second penalty. Abu Dhabi, Lewis cuts the track. No further action. So, and then to basically polarise the World Championship by just making up the rules. We don't want to finish the World Championship behind a safety car, so we're going to go racing. Like madness. Yeah, Massey has to go. There's no if buts, maybes. There's no Massey's done a good job. Fuck that, man. He's not done a good job at all. I think whether you're a Max fan, you're a Lewis fan, you're a George Russell fan, you're a Mazepin fan, we can all agree that Michael Massey has got to go. He, he should pack his bags, resign. I've tried my best. I'm not up to it. 
Would that happen under Charlie Whiting and Herbie Blash? It would not. Michael Massey is out of his depth. It's clear to see. And it was clear to see. If ever you needed evidence he was out of his depth, it was Abu Dhabi when he got bullied by the team principals. Like, he's got no control. He's in charge. He's the man at the helm. And he's got no power. What he says doesn't go because the team principals know they can get on the blower and bully him. The radio communication was fantastic to see this year, but it has to stop going into 2022. We cannot have team principals basically bullying the race director to change his decision. The race director has got to be strong and yeah, he's got to control the situation. He cannot have people on the radio swing in and sway in his mind. His decision is final. Honestly, I wouldn't trust Michael Massey running a bath at this point. Yet, yeah, there's a possibility he could be the race director for 2022. Um, yeah, he's not fit for purpose. There's no way, there's no way this man keeps his job for 2022. There's no way. I'd be astounded. Mercedes are not, they will be pushing for Michael Massey to go. Yeah. Um, yeah, Michael Massey out of his depth and the radio communication for me in 2022 needs to stop because you cannot have team principals, sporting directors bullying. We've seen it time and time again. Jonathan Wheatley comes on. That is all about racing, Michael. That is all about racing. Ron Meadow comes on the blower. So we can just push people off the circuit now and no action. Ron... I've had a look at it, and the decision is hard racing. We've had a look at it, Ron, and the decision is final, Ron. Yeah. Honestly, if I was Michael Massey, I'd be looking for a new job. You are out of your depth, my friends. And 99% of the F1 public and fans know this now. The writing is on the wall. You've got to go. Got to go. And it should. we should be hearing some of it within the next week. The people at the top as well should be having a look at this. Domenicali, Ross Braun, John Tott John steps away. They've got to change the race director. Simple as that. We've had a great season. An unbelievable season. Mercedes finally pushed. And it was a bit of a comedy show in Abu Dhabi. You've got new fans tuning in for the first time. New fans never probably watched Formula 1. And they probably won't watch it again. Because they'll be like, what the hell is this fiasco? We don't understand it. New fans would have tuned in for Abu Dhabi. Level on points. Title decider. Breaking numbers on TV. Across all platforms. And you've got Michael Massey. Making up the rules as he goes along. Lap cars cannot overtake. Lap cars can overtake. Let's have a race on the last lap. Where there's a huge disadvantage to one driver, but yeah, let's crack on. We're all in agreement, surely. Surely there's going to be no one in the comments sticking up for Michael Massey. Um, yeah, I can't see that happening. But to reiterate, when I did um, a short video, uh, one of them shorts, Michael Massey should resign. I did that after Abu Dhabi, where Max's driving was over the limit. But people thought I did it reacting after Abu Dhabi. The video was published before Abu Dhabi. People genuinely think I was salty. And that was not the case. Of course, when that happened, all the chaos in Abu Dhabi, Michael Massey should resign. People are going to click on that. And they're going to be thinking I was reacting after the race. But it was after Saudi. So we've got Karen Horner, we've got Toto Wolf, you know what I mean? Christian Horner, the most smuggest guy on the F1 grid. Michael Massey's out of his depth, and Mercedes have made their brand look like a laughingstock with their pettiness and basically not accepting a defeat. Wow, unbelievable season. Comment down below your thoughts. For me, the radio communication between principals, sporting directors to the race director has to stop. 
It just has to stop. It's good to hear that, but it needs to stop. But then if there's a race director who's powerful and in control, then like, they're not going to be on the radio bullying the race director. They know Michael Massey's weak, so they can come on and give their say. They're my opinions. Michael Massey has to resign, and the radio communication has to stop in 22. Comment down below your thoughts. We'll always reply. Adios.